sin theta plus cos theta has been given to you as root 3. So when I have the sum of sin and cos, take the square both sides. Okay, then what do you have? A plus B, the whole square, has to be the square of root 3. That is what we are going to do. So sine square theta. Upon expansion, I'll have A square plus B square plus 2AB. So 2 sine theta cos theta. That should be equal to the square root of 3 whole square. It gives me 3. Now, clearly, you know that sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So what do we have is 1 plus 2. 2 sin theta cos theta should be equal to 3. And now 2 sin theta cos theta can be written as 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2. I have 2 as a multiplier both sides so I can get rid of it or I can divide both sides by 2 telling me sin theta times cos theta is 1. Remember 1 was again the other way I could write this one was sine square theta plus cos square theta, right? So what I'm saying is sine theta cos theta equals to sine square theta plus cos square theta. Now, if that is so, then I can divide both sides by sine theta cos theta. If I'll divide both sides by sine theta cos theta, then what do I have? I'll get sine theta cos theta, cos, sine theta cos theta divided by itself is 1. And this side I'm writing sine square theta plus cos square theta upon the same. Because from here now I can split up the numerator into two parts like this. Sine square theta divided by sine theta cos theta plus cos square theta divided by sine theta cos theta. On the right side, all I have is 1. I'm going to keep it as it is. Sine square theta, one of the sine cancels out, one of the cos cancels out. I got sine by cos, which is tan. So tan theta, cos by sine is cot. So I just got the answer that tan theta plus cot theta has to be 1. It looks lengthy, it looks difficult, but it is actually, here is the main smart move. This is a smart move, I would call, because this is where you are trying to equalize that 1 as both sine theta cos theta or it is also equal to the square, the sum of the squares of sine and cos. That's it. This is how you could find the value for expressions like this.